morning. It's Sunday morning, June the 20th, 2021. It's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day for all you dads. I hope yours is a special one. We're going to consider some verses from Proverbs chapter 11 again this morning, not on the subject of Father's Day, just continuing on in our study through Proverbs 11. And it's a blessing to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word. Today, I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Yesterday, we read verses 12 and 13, and today we're going to read verse 14 and 15. Where no counsel is, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors there is safety. He that is surety for a stranger shall smart for it, and he that hateth surety ship is sure. And I think this is an example of taking good advice. The Bible talks about being surety for a stranger, and this is about being a guarantor for a loan, like co-signing on a loan for a stranger. You don't know this person's character. You don't know whether he actually will be faithful to repay that debt or if it will become your debt if you co-sign for him. The Bible says that's foolish to be surety ship for a stranger because you never know for sure if this is going to work out as as you thought it would or not. Some people have a real aversion to being surety ship or being a guarantor, a loan guarantor for anyone just because that's a good way to, a surefire way perhaps to destroy a friendship rather than encouraging people to take their own responsibility. Sometimes people depend on others to fill in for them when they have gaps in their life and in their responsibility levels. And so they want somebody to take that responsibility for them. And there is something to be said about the fact that if a person does not have the credit worthiness to be able to get their own loan, maybe they shouldn't be borrowing money in the first place. But surety ship for a stranger is the application that's given there in verse 14, verse 13, a tail bearer, um, I'm sorry, verse 14, where no counsel, that was verse 15, where no counsel is, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. There is great benefit in listening to wise counsel, wise and godly counsel. The Bible says the purposes will be disappointed and people will fail if they will not take sound advice. And maybe this does relate in some ways to dads because it behooves children to take their father's wise advice. Many times people don't want to listen to older folks, but there is a wealth of experience and often wisdom there that goes along with their years. And people would be wise to listen and take advice from others who have more experience and, and years than they have. And so uh, listening to dad is, is typically a good call. Now, if dad doesn't happen to have a spiritual aspect in his life, well, then, of course, there would be a breakdown on some level to that. But this listening to a counselor uh, generally is applied in verse 14, where no counsel is, the people fall, but there's safety for those who will accept the counsel of counselors and will take the wisdom of those who would seek to advise them. There are so many different applications for this besides just elderly people who try to give you advice. You know, God places spiritual guides and leaders in our lives for a reason. And they have a, they have a, a, an approach to things. They have an aspect or a facet to their understanding that the general person may not have. And so listening to counselors and taking the advice of wise advisors is very wise in itself and something that the Bible itself will encourage and advise for people to take advice. And don't be imagining that it all rests upon you. You have to know all the answers. There's an element of pride there anyway, because we can't know everything. Somebody knows something we doesn't, we don't know. And you can learn something from anyone. Be willing to take advice. Be willing to go to somebody else, someone else to get wise counsel. Go to spiritual leaders to get spiritual counsel. 
Go ask your pastor. Ask someone else that you respect in the spiritual realm. Somebody else who's a godly man, a godly person, who has proved himself in some of these areas, and you will be the richer for it. God bless you today.